Hi, I'm so grateful that you're here. I'm so happy to see you. First of all, I need to start with an apology because I feel terribly sick these days and I have a runny nose, which makes it very hard for me to speak. So this voiceover will be very weird. Not that it's not my default um, usually, so I'm not saying my other voiceovers are better than this one. But either way, <laughs> I'm very, very excited today because this is the first voiceover I'm creating since I uploaded my first YouTube video on this channel. And I already have 12 subscribers, which is crazy because I swear only 10 of them is me. So it's, it's just such a relief to know that at least a few people found my video somehow on this internet. I don't know how do you do that, guys, because the internet is so big. I've never imagined anybody, anybody would find my video. So thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Um, today we are building in new crest, which is very exciting because this is one of my favorite words. And the reason for this is because I'm very sentimental when it comes to bulldozing lots. So I always feel sorry for houses, for creators who put a lot of time and effort in building those houses. And yes, this includes the EA ones. I know those are very ugly and impractical, but I don't know why I just feel sorry for them, except for in this save file for some reason. When I started the save file, I was in my villain era and the bulldozed everything. So everything's clean. And I decided that we are going to build the towns up from zero. I'm not creating a save file to use. It's just a save file that I'm going to build in, if this makes sense. So I'm not really focusing on creating stories for the houses, creating um, families to move into these houses. And I also don't really care of the general theme of the houses that I'm building in these uh, cities. So if I feel like building a huge birthday cake on one of the lots, then there's going to be a huge birthday cake on that lot. And I will not care, but this is a clean slate and um, we can just see my houses in a single save file over the hopefully years. Let's say hit that for now and then we'll see how we are going with it. I hope we will be able to fill all the lots, but expansion packs are coming so quickly that I'm very skeptical about this. So yeah, today I built a house in Newcrest and Newcrest is also great because there are many styles of houses in here as well. And it's quite a big world. So if you look around in the background, you can find these modern um, offices or I don't know, apartment buildings, which are great. Uh, but I didn't really feel like it would suit a micro home. And then you can see French styled apartments as well or buildings in the background. At least I hope this is how they identify themselves. Uh, also, there are these kind of buildings that I'm building right now. If you look around when I move the camera uh, in the video, you can see this exact house in the background. Of course, it's not as tiny as this, but it has the same windows. It has the same um, outdoor wall or outdoor wallpaper, I would say. I know these are not wallpapers in real life, but let's call it a wallpaper in a Sims 4. I really like doing this. I love copying the styles of the world around the house because I usually tend to build very modern houses or sometimes this modern but family oriented houses, if this makes sense. So it's cozy and warm, but still very modern. But when I'm copying styles from other parts of the world, it allows me to test my skills and uh, try out new things, new furniture, new wallpaper, which is great. And I really enjoy that. I've been playing The Sims 4 ever since it came out. And I think this helps me greatly to stay 
um, enthusiastic about the game and still enjoy building and playing this game because I do not have any mods or CC and the reason behind that is that I'm a very very lazy person and I just don't care about updating things and also I feel like I'm a person who would get addicted very quickly to these things and spend hours and hours CC chop CC shopping and then never play the game just looking around my CC so yeah I will stay vanilla in case <laughs> you were wondering and also at this time this style helped me to find a new shower I used a new shower in this game that I never really do um, I tend to go for the same three or four showers that are in the game and I really like but this time I tried out this base game shower and it was a pleasant surprise it has these interesting tiles on the back and I don't know I just loved it and I think I should use it more but this time this house does not include an indoor bin or trash can and usually I forget about it so usually I just leave trash cans out completely because I don't know in my country it is very common to have a trash can under the sink you know in the cabinet so it's just not an obvious thing for me to do and I still can't believe that Sims 4 has been out for such a long time and we still don't have um, integrated cabinet bins or not cabinet but kitchen counter bins uh, I don't know I don't know how you call that <laughs> either way you probably know what I'm talking about so let's move on um, usually I forget those but this time it was deliberate I swear I just didn't like the look of the indoor bin in this house so I decided to skip it because I have an outdoor one I usually forget the outdoor ones as well and the mailboxes yeah and sometimes the sink in the kitchen <laughs> so I'm not the most precise builder in the world I admit and this time I wanted to mix up the backyard a bit as well and I decided to put this huge hot tub here which took up a lot of space which could have been used for something more useful something um, like a skill building item or a grill or an outdoor eating area dining area or something but I was like you know what this sim really deserves their hot tub and my test sim Mr. Test Osteron really enjoyed that hot tub as well I think I will have a hard time asking him to move out the next time we are building the the next upcoming micro home I might force him to move oh my don't tell him yet I figure out how to do it and also um I'm very frustrated still about that bug with the fences and the banisters I don't know I think it's banisters I always forget to look this word up but you know what I mean so the stairs and the fences and um, the disappearing banisters it's just so frustrating I don't know what to do with it so I decided to put down these white uh, straight lines on the ground that came with um, spa day or get together I don't know I can't remember anymore I was very proud when um, the Sims 4 first expansion packs came out because I knew everything you know I know that this was in that pack and that was in that pack and then all the stuff packs came and the kits and I just I just don't know anymore I don't even know the titles of the expansion packs and other packs so please forgive me but I use these lines and the thing is they light up at night which looks ridiculous okay so I don't like how the brick touches the um, touches the grass for example it's just it's just way too sharp for me I need I need something to close it 
off. And I don't know, I just needed something and this is what I found because I felt like I was way too lazy to put stones in there or something or, or just um, flowers. So yeah, I use these lines and, and they light up and they look disgusting, but at least now you have a landing area for the UFOs in front of your house or, or just the planes. If you wish, you can practice being a stewardess or I don't know, on that side. Either way, we are getting closer to the screenshot, which is amazing because I'm still speaking and I still haven't coughed. So yay, yay. congratulate me, please. <laughs> um, yeah, so these are the screenshots. I'm very happy with this house. I think I used the Murphy bed a lot these days, but the Murphy bed makes my job much easier with these micro homes and this home was very beigey and a bit older looking one which was new to me and I really like this. I love the bathroom. You see that um, shower there. This building is up in the gallery or if it's not it's going to be and you can download it under my gallery ID that is visible on this last screenshot and in the description of this video. I'm grateful that you joined me and watched this video. See you next time. Have a nice day. Bye bye.